So tell me the differences between collecting in the States and in Europe. Well, there's a lot of subtle differences. Well, they sell Joe's there, right? Yeah, they sell Joe's there. Toys R Us, mom and pop shops. I even seen them in the jungles of Peru. But in the U.S., you can barely find them. So how do we get them? Well, they got this thing called the pre-order. You pay for the shit first. Then they tell you your shit may come in about a year. Wait a minute. A fucking year? And you pay in advance. I'll be damned. And the best part is, the U.S. collectors are okay with it. They make excuses for them. Excuses like what? All kinds of excuses. Like supply chains, viruses, even prioritizing tampons. Tampons? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what Hasbro calls U.S. collectors? What do they call them? Cucks. Welcome back, True Believers Elite Legend, back at you guys with another G.I. Joe Classified Series video. And today, the Elite Legend is pumped up. That is because the day has finally come. We are finally getting bombarded with emails letting us know that figures that we had pre-ordered nine, ten months, a year ago, it seems, are finally going to be shipping direct to our door. Now, these are figures that have been widely available in Europe. These are figures that have been widely available at Toys R Us, mom and pop shops in Canada, Italian cafes, Amsterdam brothels. Figures found in the jungles of Peru are now finally going to hit their way stateside and you don't even have to be a shill to get them. That's right. Dr. Mindbender is coming. The false sense of scarcity created by the folks over at Hasbro has ended and the Elite Legend has some theories. I think it probably has something to do with the third quarter losses and the expectations for more losses to come. So they unleashed a Kraken. Look, baby, tum tum when you've been sitting down and you've been sipping on a bottle of Jack and a 40 ounce of Coke 45, baby. And you go to the bathroom and you do a little, a little, a little popcorn fart. And then you go, oh, daddy, I unleashed the Kraken. And you thought, pit it all over. Dusty, come on, what are you talking about? Family Channel. The Kraken has been released. I got notifications this week, not only for Dr. Mindbender. Remember, the Joe team showed up at San Diego Comic-Con with a promise and a picture, a QR code. They didn't even have a figure available in the United States for a con. But if you go overseas, individuals are walking around with that Dr. Mindbender. Little Dan got Dr. Mindbender at the London Comic-Con, whatever the hell that was. That brother followed a rainbow, and at the end of it was a pot of gold with a Dr. Mindbender. Now... I also got an email for Sergeant Slaughter. So individuals have been comparing the Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter to the G.I. Joe Classified Sergeant Slaughter for the last several weeks because individuals got a surprise drop from Big Bad Toy Store. Normally those bros don't ship, but they had a limited quantity that they were able to distribute in the United States. But let me know in the comments. <laughs> Which Sergeant Slaughter do you prefer? I also got a notification for... Serpentor. That's right. The 2022 Hasbro Pulse Con exclusive Serpentor is finally going to be shipping. I got an email notification. I haven't been charged yet. However, the Elite Legend is anticipating receiving that hopefully by the end of the week. Now, if you have Dr. Mindbender emails, if you have Sergeant Slaughter emails, if you have Serpentor emails, these are three figures that the Elite Legend feels are going to be in the running for G.I. Joe Classified Series Figure of the Year. Let me know in the comments which do you feel is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Figure of the Year. And why do you think Hasbro has all of a sudden decided to unleash the Kraken? Have they decided individuals have that money for Black Friday shopping? Let's take that shit. Fuck them, kids. Fuck the holidays. We need to get some bank. Enough of creating a false sense of scarcity. 
individuals want these figures on their shelves. Let's give them what they want. Hopefully that's what they decided that they wanted to do. The Elite Legend is never going to complain about getting action figures that I pre-ordered. But it would be nice if we would be able to have an estimated time that's realistic that we can depend on. Because individuals are struggling right now in this Biden's greatest economy. So there's individuals that are having to make tough decisions and cancel pre-orders that they've been looking forward to for quite a long time. So the Elite Legend is going to leave you with this. Hasbro, y'all ain't shit, <laughs> but the Elite Legend does love these action figures that you create because the plastic addiction is real. <laughs> now, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legend's next videos. I drop content regularly, so you don't want to miss that. Scan that QR code to follow the Elite Legend on Instagram. I have a Facebook toy group called Elite Toy Collectors on Facebook. Check out my G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist, Marvel Legends playlist, Thrift Hall playlist. Last year, the Elite Legend found a classic His Tank at a thrift store, so check that out. And until next time, make mine.